Hello there. My name is Mark Stanford. I started working in construction just about the time the Beatles showed up on the Ed Sullivan Show. I began consulting on water intrusion issues in 1984. And over the past 20 years, I've conducted over 300 forensic investigations on moisture intrusion in residential and commercial buildings and have provided expert witness services in over 75 claims and litigations. One of the primary reasons for water intrusion in buildings is the improper installation of windows and doors. Water can enter around the door or window unit, through the jam, over the top, on the sides, and below. Such leaks are usually very expensive to repair and can even destroy the building. Years may go by before the leak is noticed, and by that time the related damages and required repairs can exceed the value of the building. The most advanced products for installation of windows and doors are made by SureSill, the manufacturer of the integrated flashing system for windows and doors. When properly installed, SureSill integrated flashing system gives the maximum protection against water intrusion due to window and door installation. The integrated flashing system also effectively integrates with other components of the building envelope. The key components of the integrated flashing system are the sloped head flash and the sloped sill pan, integrated with each other and with the moisture barrier of the envelope. SureSill products are engineered with one fact in mind. Water flows downhill and migrates across horizontal surfaces. Although each flashing product installs level with a door or window in the field, the system of recessed slopes and end dams collects moisture and discharges it properly outside the building envelope. The SureSill integrated flashing system consists of the sloped head flashing that goes above doors or windows and the sloped sill pan flashing that goes below doors or windows. The installation is simple and both products should be field cut on site for a proper fit. The size of the rough opening for window and door installations varies over the wide range of opening dimensions, frequently falling anywhere between 12 inches to over 12 feet wide. In addition, the exact dimension of the rough opening is decided by the tradesman on the job site and frequently varies even for the same window or door size. For proper installation of doors and windows, the entire rough opening has to be flashed. To accommodate every rough opening would require an infinite amount of links for both the sill pan and the head flashing. The SureSill solution is a sloped sill pan that fits any rough opening up to 12 feet 6 inches in width. The middle section, called the channel plate, can easily be field cut on site. The end caps are attached with PVC cement to create a sloped, waterproof sill pan that fits the exact size of any rough opening on the project. The SureSill sloped head flash has the same concept. The center section, called the drain shield, can easily be field cut to fit any size window or door unit, including multiple units up to 13 feet wide. End caps are secured with PVC cement, creating a sloped, waterproof head flashing for any door or window. As an example of a typical field installation procedure, we have a model door with a rough opening already prepared. Both the sloped head flash and the sloped sill pan were previously cut to fit the rough opening and the top of the door and assembled with PVC cement. To simulate field conditions for most common building practices, we have a sample wall with a moisture barrier on your left and a condition without a moisture barrier on your right. We'll follow the installation steps listed in SureSill's Water Management Guide. For your convenience, the guide is printed on all SureSill products. Let's see what the Water Management Guide says. In step one, you should measure the rough opening and cut the channel plate one quarter inch smaller than the rough opening measurement. Check the fit of the sill pan before gluing the end caps. Remove the label from contact surfaces prior to application of the PVC cement. For our purposes, the assembly was completed earlier. Step two, the sloped sill pan should be integrated with the moisture barrier of the building in a shingle lap fashion for positive drainage. If the barrier is already in place, the front lip of the sill pan should overlap the moisture barrier. If no moisture barrier is in place prior to installation, as per step two, a waterproofing membrane should be installed six inches above the plate 
and lapped over the existing or future moisture barrier. Apply adhesive sealant on the bottom plate and a couple of inches up on the side of the rough opening. Step 3. Install the assembled sure seal plumb and leveled across the entire rough opening and secure to the opening with fasteners in the slots provided. Step 4. If a moisture barrier is already in place, the moisture barrier should drape over the end cap on the sill pan. If the moisture barrier is not in place, install a different material for the jam flashing, such as self-adhering flashing, which should also drape over the end cap. Apply adhesive sealant to jams and head on three sides only. Step 5. Measure the exterior width of the window or door, including the brick molding, and cut the drain shield to fit. Check the fit with the end caps before gluing. Again, remove labels in the contact areas as needed. For demonstration purposes, this unit was pre-cut and assembled. Step 6. Install the window or door unit. Once the unit is in place, install additional self-adhering flashing over the nailing flange or the brick mold and the moisture barrier. If the moisture barrier is not in place at the time of door or window installation, install self-adhering flashing over the exterior sheathing. Install the assembled head flash over the jam flashing. Step 7. Install the moisture barrier in shingle lap fashion including both over the head flash and the jam flashing. Provide unobstructed drainage path for the weef system for the sloped sill pan and the head flash during and after construction. Sure sill products are UV resistant. If left exposed to the weather, painting is recommended. Frequently, the front lip of the sloped sill pan is covered by exterior cladding. The door drain detail demonstrates how free drainage is provided in the case of masonry veneer. A half-inch sisal rope inserted into the weep holes can be used to provide a dedicated drainage path. The SureSill integrated flashing system provides a complete system, integrated with the moisture barrier to collect and discharge the moisture properly outside the building envelope. SureSill products are available through select distributors of building materials and home improvement centers throughout the United States. You know, now that I think about it, I actually started working two years before the Beatles were on Ed Sullivan.